Hi everyone, thanks for completing the Foundations for Success Bootcamp. Uh, today I have Riyad with me here and he's going to talk a little bit about uh, his channel. So welcome uh, Riyad. Thanks for having me. Uh, you're welcome, <laughs> we're glad to have you. So um, how about you start by describing your channel to our audience? Okay, well my channel is uh, mainly comedy videos, short comedy videos that aren't somewhat sketches, they're in the real world, so I, I normally take someone and put them in a situation that's super uncomfortable for them, like I got my mother to read my grinder messages, or I thought my dad's super rude internet slang, but then from time to time I get a bit more serious and I um, do some stuff for anti-bullying or for the LGBT community, so okay. I, whatever's on my mind that day. That's great. And uh, how hard was it for you to get to the level of success? How many subs do you have right now? Um, 74,000. Okay, 74,000, that's a lot. How did you get your first uh, thousand? Let's start there. It is so hard starting off. And anyone who breaks through that barrier of a thousand subs, I find that I have a huge amount of respect for them because that's the hardest first thousand. Hmm. And what you'll find is after you start building past that, it snowballs. And I've got friends that are, say, a quarter of a million subs, and they're daily getting a thousand, every single day. So how I got my first thousand was just being consistent, um, really putting a lot of effort and time into my idea generation, hmm. thinking of, you know, what do people genuinely want to see, and trying to not leave um, such a huge gap in between uploads. Um, okay. And just being friends with the YouTube community, getting advice, free advice from other creators. That's great. Uh, so, so when did you realize, at which stage of your subscribers did you realize that you had actually like a quite nice YouTube channel and that things were going well for you? I think when you start to get tweets and emails and Facebook mails from um, viewers telling you that you haven't uploaded today, you promised you are going to <laughs> upload today, where is it? <laughs> then you realize, wow, you kind of have uh, this new agreement, an unwritten rule, where you have to upload because they're waiting for it, they want it and there's like there's a hunger out there for you and your content. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely feeling, but it's also a little bit scary because, you know, um, as a smaller creator, you, you will probably have a full-time job. Yeah. And to find the time to make the idea, film the video, edit the video, upload the video, market the video to the public, that's a lot of time. Yeah, um, but I, I sort of felt like I had a little bit of success once um, I had um, a group of people that were genuinely looking for my stuff. And that's really good and and like from that little bit of success catching up that line what is success uh, what does success mean to you what what do you want to what do you want a good question yeah, where do you want this channel to take you eventually okay well success to me over time has changed mm. back in the day success to me would have been a hundred subs then mm. success to me was a thousand subs and I tried so hard to um, release that um, panic of this number is what I need to get to, otherwise I'm a failure. Because you'll drive yourself insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Success to me now is the ability to look back on a video from six months ago or a year ago and still enjoy it. Mm -hmm. To look back on uh, something that I created and go, that is good. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you look pat on your back and not look back on your stuff and, and feel cringy or wanting to delete it. Huh. Um, to think that your work has had a positive impact on someone. So if you begin to get emails from um, your subscribers saying your video really helped me out on a tough day, it made me smile, or your video um, helped me come out to my parents, hmm. that means that you've had some um, effect on their mind and their life, and if it's a positive effect, then that's success to me. That's great. So um, we have a lot of people trying to start their channels right now. Most of these people have been through the boot camp of Foundations of Success. You obviously are at a slightly different level at the moment. What are the, let's say, the three things that you think a new creator must have to have a successful channel? Mm. It's probably ten. I'll give you the okay. three top ones. <laughs> Let's start with three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I say number one above anything, and you'll hear it over and over again, is just to be 100% you. Mm. Painfully you. We're talking the things about you you don't like, the things about you you do like. If you show the world all of that, um, the people that are watching you will know that you're absolutely genuine and down to earth. You know, and my day job is I'm a radio host, yeah. and from time to time I'll have to do the radio host voice, which is like, hello and welcome to, you know, it's a bit... <laughs> yeah. When I go and film a video, I almost have to slap that out of myself 
and go, Riyadh, who are you, where are you, find yourself again. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I have to um, film an intro for a video two or three times because I realize I'm being a host, not a person. Okay. So be you, be a person, be human, be relatable is number one because people are watching you, not television, because you aren't, they can't find you on the television. Everyone on t TV is glitzy and glammy and, and a little bit fake, in okay. my opinion. So be you. And um, number two is really, really pay attention to your production quality. You know, we're at a stage now where um, short films are being made on YouTube that can compete with what we see in the cinema. Mm -hmm. um, we're at a stage where people put a huge amount of time, money and effort into the camera they have, the microphones, the lighting. I'm not saying go out and spend your entire month's earnings on production equipment, mm. but invest. Maybe take a step back for a month or two, save up some money, um, or ask for it as a, as a Christmas gift or a birthday gift, mm. and then um, just go for it with some really great equipment. That way you're going to look slick, you're going to be at the same level as the major, major creators with millions of subscribers, and um, you know at the end of the day, all people are getting from your video is a visual and an audio. And if your visual or your audio is lacking, then you're already at a disadvantage. So look at your quality. Um, and then number three is um, just integrate yourself into the community. You know, um, YouTube is, is a fantastic place to make friends, to find a lover, <laughs> to find business. Um, you know, and I kind of had found all three in a way, um, just by accident. And it was by just leaving myself open to the um, idea of making those connections. And sometimes you can find someone that, you know, you might go on a date with who is also a creator. But at the same time, you really want to collaborate with them in a video. And you also want to do a brand deal with them. You, it's, it's a weird but beautiful mixing pot of different <laughs> people. And you'll make friends globally. Um, I, I have friends in Canada, the States, Mexico, Venezuela, Saudi Arabia that I never would have met if it wasn't for this amazing website. It's really good, really good three advices. Well, any other thing you want to uh, say to our creators before we uh, finish this interview? Mm. I say um, keep doing it and um, push through that barrier of a thousand. Um, that is a fantastic milestone and you'll feel great celebrated when it happens. And um, when you're making content, my number one piece of advice is before you take that camera out of the box and put it on the tripod, before you click record, ask, would I watch this video? And if the answer is no, then don't make it, it's a waste of time. Only ever make content that you genuinely yourself would click on and want to watch. Um, because if you're not willing to watch it, then no one else is going to be willing to watch it. Um, so yeah, and, and make something you're passionate about, you know? Like think of what in your world do you do well? Are you a vet? Are you um, a radio presenter? Are you a gardener? There is a market for every passion on YouTube and just maybe start off by doing that. Thank you so much for coming. No this was a great way to wrap up this interview. Thanks for having me. And uh, thank you for doing the Foundations for Success Bootcamp. Stay tuned because we will have more bootcamps in the Creator Academy. See you, bye.